fun Steph here from Sean and Steph IRL. And this video will continue our training series on how to vlog with your phone. And this episode continues our talks about editing. Now there's a lot that goes into the editing process. So I'm going to break it down into small chunks. So it's easier to follow along and easier to understand. And this part of the editing process is all about transcoding our footage inside HitFilm Express. Now, if you are joining us for the first time today, go ahead and check out the other episodes in this training series. I'm going to go over everything from the gear I recommend to the editing techniques I recommend to publish your video to YouTube. And like I just mentioned, this is all about transcoding our footage in HitFilm Express. So let's jump over to HitFilm and get started. Now you can see we've already imported all of our footage. If you have not imported your footage, go ahead and check the last tutorial where I talk all about importing your stuff into HitFilm Express. All right, let's talk about transcoding. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm working on a PC. HitFilm Express will work on both Mac and PC, so no matter what kind of computer you're working on, you'll be good to go. All right, transcoding. I wanna quickly explain what transcoding is and why it is an important step in editing. Okay, our phones, here they are. They're great. They're wonderful at capturing footage. We get some great stuff. They're portable, they're always in our pockets, and they, they shoot really, really nice video. All right, well, they may shoot great video for a phone, but they don't shoot great video for our editing software. Why is that? Well, the reason is, is because of a, something called variable frame rate, all right? Our phones shoot th something, you remember we're talking about the frames per second? Our phones shoot at something that's variable, so it goes up, it's high, it's low, it's high, it's low, it's high, it's low, it's all variable, it's all over the place. Our phones shoot in variable frame rate to save space. Great for our phones, terrible for our software. Well, why is it terrible? Because our software doesn't like when things are do this, okay? Editing software likes everything to be constant. It wants it to be one frame rate, that's it. So if, if you have a variable frame rate, it's gonna make your computer run really hard. So you're gonna have um, stuttering when you're doing your editing, you're gonna have, you can have audio drift. There's a bunch of different things that can happen. So we wanna take our footage from variable doing this to making it constant. And that's where transcoding is gonna come in. And we are in luck because transcoding inside HitFilm is really, really easy. Now, before we start the transcode process, I wanna say transcoding is somewhat optional. You don't have to do this. You could put your footage into your timeline and start editing right now. However, you're gonna have some problems, all right? You're gonna have some stuttering when it comes to finding your points to edit. And like I said, I mentioned audio drift. There are some other things that can happen too. I definitely recommend transcoding your footage, but again, it's not a necessity to start editing, all right? but. You're gonna say, you're gonna thank me later when you wanna take your phone and literally throw it through your monitor because you're gonna be so angry that nothing's working. All right, so transcode now, save yourself headaches later on down the line. All right. Now we've already created our project. Like I said, we've already imported all of our footage. So now the next very next step we have to do is we're gonna organize this out because there are some clips that are gonna be handled a little bit different than other clips, all right? The very first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a folder and I'm gonna create a folder that's called regular footage. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a second folder, not inside that folder, let me delete that. I'm gonna create a second folder and I'm gonna call this slow motion. So this is gonna be all of our slow motion footage. I'm gonna create another folder that is our my vertical video or Snapchat, okay? Snapchat or vertical video. And then I wanna create one more folder and I'm gonna name this, I keep putting it inside, I'm gonna call this folder 4K. All right, so I'm doing an HD project, but I have shot footage on my phone that's 4K, because our phones do do 4K footage. But I'm, when I do my transcoding, I want everything to be transcoded the way it was um, delivered. So if it was delivered in HD, I wanna transcode in HD. If it was delivered in 4K, I wanna transcode it to 4K, because it's gonna give us some room to play and resize and reposition. I don't wanna take that away. Just because I'm working in HD timeline doesn't mean I wanna lose how my footage was shot. All right, so we, that's fine, we can do that. But we have to separate everything out because they're all gonna be kind of taken a little differently. So the very first thing I wanna do is I wanna put, I wanna find all my slow motion footage. Well, how do I find that? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna first look at the frame rates here. And you're gonna see it says 29, 29, 29, 30. Oh, here's one that says 60. All right, that's actually slow motion. So I wanna look for all of my clips that are 60 or 120. Some of your phones may, may do 120 frames per second, but I know for sure it's for 60. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this up because I'm looking for all of my slow motion clips first. We're gonna, we're gonna do something special to these first. So I'm gonna hold down my control key and I'm gonna go find all of my 60s. So let's just look for all the 60 second uh, clips. This won't take you very long. Just run your mouse over the numbers and when you see a 60, just grab it. Make sure you're holding Control or Command if you're on a Mac. That's gonna allow you to select more than one. 
We're just running through here, grabbing everything that's 60 frames per second. I didn't shoot a lot of uh, slow motion in this day, so I don't have a lot, but I do wanna make sure I grab all of my slow motion that I have. So let's go ahead and separate everything out. There's another one. All right, so once you have all of your 60 frames per second clips selected, scroll back to the top so you can see your folders. Grab the first highlighted one and drag all of them into your slow motion folder. So now all of my 60 frames per second files are right here. Perfect. All right, that's step one. Now let's go grab all of our Snapchat or vertical video if you have any. They're pretty easy to find because they are like this. All right. There are Snapchats I love because I don't have a lot. I know they're at the end and they have a really cool filter, so they're easy to find. All right, so I have all my Snapchat selected. So I'm gonna grab those and drag those into the Snapchat or vertical video folder. And now I'm gonna look for, now I wanna find all my 4K files. Now I'm looking at, instead of frames per second, I'm gonna be looking for 3840, okay? And again, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select all those that are 3840. And you'll notice that all of my clips that aren't, that I'm not talking to the camera are 3840. So my phone was shooting in 4K the whole time, but I'm, I'm not gonna make a 4K project, so I wanna make these separate. So we're just separating all these out. Okay, so now I have all of my 4K files selected. So I'm gonna grab the top and drag it into my 4K folder, okay? Now all I need to do is I can highlight the first one. These are gonna be all my HD, my 1080 clips, so I can select them all holding shift and then drag those into my regular footage. I can also recall this, let's just call this, um, let's rename this HD, okay? So now I have 4K footage, HD footage, slow motion, and my Snapchat or vertical video, all right? Now, all we need to do is work with our slow motion footage first. We need to change something here. So I'm gonna twirl down this, this folder here, and I want you to see the 60 frames per second. I'm gonna show you what this what's happening right now. If I pull this open, and I can show you here with Sean, all right, and I play this through, watch what happens. Pay attention to this ball right here. See how that's not in slow motion? That's in regular motion. So we wanna make this in slow motion. So how do we do that? Well, we have to tell HitFilm that it's a different frame rate. And to do that, I'm gonna click on this little sprocket right here. It's gonna bring up the media properties for my clip, and I'm gonna deselect this little check mark. So take, turn that off, and I'm gonna change the frame rate from 60 to 30, all right? Or 60 to 90, 29, 60 to 30, that's fine. Now watch what happens. If I rewind this, watch the ball. Now it's in slow motion. Okay, now if you have slow motion files on your phone, most likely the, the audio is not going to match your slow motion movement. Don't worry about the audio, you're gonna put music there and you won't have to worry about it. Just keep in mind that your audio is also not in slow motion. So you're not getting you're not getting audio like that on your phone, but you will get slow motion video just like this, okay? So we're gonna go quickly go through each of these and change the frame rate from 60 to 30 really fast. All right, so now all of my slow motion files have been changed to the frame rate of my project. Perfect, easy peasy. So now these will actually transcode to slow motion, so I'll have the slow motion files after my transcode is done. All right, now let's talk about the transcode process. We're gonna be running, a, we're gonna be basically running two different batches here. We're gonna be running an HD batch and we're gonna run a 4K batch. So we're gonna have to do two. Now to run your HD batch, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take all of your HD files. That's gonna include your HD, your slow motion, and your Snapchat or vertical video. Okay, these are all in, they're all in uh, HD. So you see 1280 there, 1920 by 1080 there, and then 720, 1920 by 1080. These are all HD clips, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all of these clips and we're gonna pull them over here into our timeline. So pull down my HD folder, select my first one, go to the bottom and hold down shift, highlight them all, and then drag those in. Okay, that's the first part. And then we're gonna go down here, we're gonna move our playhead, that's this white bar right here. I'm gonna move it down to the end. And then I'm gonna grab my slow motion file. So let's go ahead and close the HD folder. Oops, nope. Open up my slow motion files, select the first one and hold down shift and select the last one. Put my HD files here at the end, all right? And then move your playhead again down here past your HD files. And I like to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to put in my Snapchat or vertical video files, okay? 
throw those down here at the end. So now I have all of mine, if I zoom in here a little bit, now I have all of my Snapchats here and then my uh, slow motion. And then I, finally I have my regular HD footage from the, at the very, very beginning. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be handling these a little different. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do now, not including my Snapchat files down here, I want to start here and I want to select all of my slow motion and my HD files. Do not select your Snapchat files yet. All right. So we're going to highlight all of these. All right, you're going to make a selection box. If you didn't see how I did, I just clicked in the dark gray area, held down on my mouse, and I made a selection box and selected my HD footage and my slow motion footage. Okay, that's the very first thing. Now, with those highlighted, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and you're going to click on this little tab that says export. Click over here. Now, before we do any, any kind of importing into here, I want you to come over here to these presets and I want you to find the preset that says GoPro Cineform YUV 10 bit MOV. Sounds like a lot, but you'll find it right here. When you see that GoPro Cineform codec, I want you to right click and I want you to say make default. Okay, that's going to make this little check mark right here. So GoPro Cineform YUV 10 bit MOV, right click and say make default. You should have a little check mark right next to the GoPro Cineform codec right here. Once you have that check mark, we're going to go back to our edit. So you're going to click on the edit tab. Now on the highlighted clips, just on one of, one of the clips, doesn't matter which one, right click on any clip that you see there and click this button that says add to export queue. Okay, so right click on any of your clips, click add to export queue. A little dialog box is going to pop up and you're gonna say go to export. So now all of your files have been, ex have been put in the export queue right here. They're all right here. And the very first thing we have to do before we start doing anything else is we have to tell these where to be saved. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click here in the very first, I'm going to press control A to select them all or command A if you're on a Mac. So select all of your clips, come over here. All you need to do is click on one of these. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to tell these, these uh, files where to go. So I have a, let's put in my stuff log. Let's make a new folder called converted files. And then inside my converted files, I'm going to make a day six folder because this is day six that we're working on. Day six, send so that now I'm going to say save. So now all of my files are going to go to that day six converted file in my, on my hard drive. Okay. That's the very first thing we need to do. Now you want to deselect everything. These are ready to go. We don't touch any more of these. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go back to your edit and I want you to scroll over to your Snapchat files. Okay, which are right here for me. Um, I need to zoom in on mine because I can't see them right now. And I want you to now highlight all of your Snapchat or vertical video files. Okay, so forget about all the other stuff, deselect everything, highlight, make a selection box and highlight these files. Now right click on these files and say add to export queue. Say go to export. Now if we scroll to the bottom of these, okay, you're going to find and you're going to see your um, uh, Snapchat files entered. The way I can see my Snapchat files is they have different file names from IMG. So my files for my phone come as an IMG files. My Snapchats come in with some like random letters and numbers. So here they are right here. I'm going to highlight them all. So either click the first one, hold down shift, and then click on the last Snapchat vertical video. And we're going to be changing these from GoPro Cineform. I'm going to click on that. And you're going to change this to GoPro Cineform 12 bit with alpha right here. Okay. With alpha MOV, this is the one we want. So you're changing it from the other GoPro Cineform codec to one with an alpha. Now, why are we doing that? Let me pause. We're adding an alpha channel in because our vertical video is going to be sitting on a transparent background. We want to take our vertical video from this way to flip it up this way. To do that, we want to keep a, a a transparent background. By adding an alpha channel in there, we're keeping the transparent background. Okay, so we want to make sure that all of our vertical video files are GoPro Cineform with alpha. Now, once we have all these done, we don't want to change anything else. We want to deselect everything. Now we're ready to start our first export batch. So we're going to go all the way to the top. You're going to highlight the very first file and you're going to say start exporting. And if I roll this over here, you're going to see your um, export start to happen right here. Now this is going to take some while, take some time. It's going to take a while to do. Uh, my, I'm, I have 204 files, I believe, in here total that I'm doing. Um, so I know that my export process is going to take me about, I don't know, I started at one and it finished around 10 o'clock at night. Let HitFilm do its thing. Um, we're going to come back and we're going to do the second part of our export process. But let this continue. Let it keep going. Um, go grab a snack. Go grab a nap. 
I usually do this at night where I just set it up, I let it go, and then I'm ready to edit the next day. Um, again, it just depends on how many files you have, how much you're exporting, and how much you're transcoding. Set it, forget it, walk away, and come back when it's finished, all right? So let's let this finish, and then I'm gonna finish up our second part with our 4K footage after this is done. All right, so I'm gonna stop this. I'm not, I'm not gonna let it keep going to finish the export. You would let yours finish all the way through, but I'm gonna suspend this so I can jump to the next part. We have to do the 4K footage. So when this is finished, you would join me now where I am now. So let me go and I'm gonna, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all of these that are already finished. So if these are already finished, press Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac and hit Delete or Remove Tasks. You want this to be empty. All right, so let's go back to our edit window. We're gonna we're gonna uh, scale out here so we can see everything. I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna say delete everything out of my timeline. And I'm going to twirl up my Snapchat or vertical video folder. Now, what we are gonna do is we're gonna change our project settings so we can export at 4K, all right? If you don't have any 4K footage, don't worry about this step. The last step was your final step and you're ready to move on to the next part of our training series. If you have 4K footage, this is what you're gonna do next. With a blank timeline, I'm gonna go, and everything's blank, I'm now gonna go back to my project and I'm gonna change my project settings to, to 4K file size. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna go 4K UHD 30 frames per second. It's gonna change it to 3840 by 2160. So I can say apply. Now my footage in my project here has been changed to 4K. And here are my 4K files, 3840 by 30 frames per second, okay? Now I can hold down, click the first one, hold down shift and select all of my 4K files. I'm gonna bring those in just like I did for the HD files, I'm gonna drop them on my timeline. Now, with these all highlighted, I wanna go back to my export, and I wanna make sure the GoPro Cineform YUV 10-bit MOV is selected, should still be selected from your last time you did your export. Go back to edit, let's select all of these clips, we're gonna right click, and we're going to say add to export queue. This little dialog box is gonna pop up, you're gonna say go to export, now all of your files have been added in here. You should be saving to the exact same location you did for your last conversion, which is perfect. So now all we have to do is click on the first one and say start exporting, okay? Again, you're gonna let this run through, set it, forget it, and then you're ready to come back and start editing. And that's transcoding. Again, this process is optional. You don't have to do this. You could start editing right away, but I definitely recommend this to save yourself a headache down the road when you're in the knee deep in the editing process and you're just Frustrated as all get out because you can't move your playhead, you can't find anything, it's just, it's going crazy. So transcode now, save yourself some headaches down the road. And that's it, that's transcoding. Basically, HitFilm's gonna do all the work. It's really not hard. It may seem like a lot of work, but it really isn't. You're just basically right-clicking, putting your files in and exporting and letting, letting HitFilm do its thing. So join me for the next part of our series where we start creating our first rough cut for our vlog. Once again, I'm Steph from Sean and Steph IRL. If you would like more vlogging tips, check out makebettervlogs.com. Also, if you'd like to purchase a downloadable PDF version of this training series, go ahead and check the links in the description. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh,